Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Product Catalog Plugins in-depth premium feature tutorial. In this video we're going to cover four features that many users have questions about. These include additional images for products, product tags, custom fields, and custom product pages. First let's start with additional images. You can add additional images to a product by going to the products tab and then selecting the product you wish to add images for. Once you're on the product details page, scroll down to the bottom to the area with the heading add product images. Here you can use the WordPress uploader to add as many additional images at one time as you'd like. Once you've added the images, simply click on the delete link to remove an image. Additional product images are displayed by default to the left hand side of the product page. Next let's take a look at the tags feature. Start by heading over to the tags tab. Once you're there, you can use the form on the left hand side of the page to create a new tag. You can create as many tags as you like related to different features of your products. To tag different products, head back to the products tab and then select a product. You can select tags towards the bottom of the page below subcategories and just above custom fields. You can select as many tags as you'd like for each product. Visitors to your catalog are able to select products using tags by clicking on the check boxes on the left hand side of your page. To remove a tag from a product, simply click on it again and then click the save button. Next, let's move to custom fields. Custom fields are a very popular feature because they let you describe your products in great detail. There are many different options for custom fields, but two of the most popular ones are short text and file fields. We're going to create one of each in this tutorial. Let's start off with a short text field. We'll call this field test, give it a slug lowercase test, leave type as short text, give it a description of this is a test, and leave input values blank. For display, we will select the option both, so that this field displays on both the thumbnail and product details views of your catalog. Next, let's create a file field. We'll call this field file test, give it a slug of lowercase file dash test, select type file, give it a description of this is a test of uploading files, leave input values blank, and select both again for the display option. Next, let's fill these fields in for one of our products. Go to the Products tab, and then click on the product that you would like to edit. Custom fields are displayed towards the bottom of the Product Details page, just below the Tags fields. You can put in whatever random text and whatever random file you'd like for these fields, and then click Save Changes. When you go to your product catalog now, you should see both of these fields in both the thumbnail and product details views for the product you selected. Finally, let's take a look at how to create your own custom product page. The first step is to go to the option page and select yes for the custom product pages option. Once you've done that, head to the product page tab and we'll get started creating the custom product page. Most users should have a product page similar to the one already in use in their sites set up by default. Although some users may have a blank page depending on their server settings. Let's start by adding the custom fields we just created to our product page. Click on the fields Test and Test Label to add them to the product page. Let's rearrange them now so that Label is to the left and Test is to the right. We could also put the Label above and the Test field below and then arrange them to both be two columns wide. There are many basic elements to choose from, and they can all be resized should you so desire. This feature is incredibly customizable, and you can create almost any page that you can imagine. Here are a couple of examples of what can be done using the custom product pages feature. If you have any other questions about how to use these features, head to the product support forum for the plugin. If you don't yet have the premium version, We've linked to our website where you can purchase it in the description below. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for using our plugin.